Uh, two York County families are now suing popular ride-sharing company Uber for its alleged role in a sex trafficking incident. It reportedly left one young girl severely assaulted and then another girl with video of the crimes. South Carolina Bureau Chief Secura Speaks details the horrific claims. Tonight, two York County families are seeking change after their underage daughters were kidnapped and sexually assaulted. They're blaming Uber, the highly used rideshare app. One afternoon last year, an Uber driver picked up our clients, a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old girl, from their neighborhood in South Carolina. Plaintiff's attorneys say the parents were not aware of the trip. They claim the girls told the driver they were underage, but he continued with the trip from Rock Hill to a North Carolina town. The girls were given drugs, and the 12-year-old was raped, struck repeatedly, spit on, and the whole thing was filmed on the rapist's phone. The lawsuit names Fabian Gerard Williams as the alleged trafficker. Facebook messages between one of the girls and Williams show the reason for the meetup was for sex. He instructed her to tell the Uber driver he was the girl's father. The horrific and tragic situation that occurred was made possible by Uber. The company says children younger than 18 are not permitted to ride in an Uber unless they are, quote, accompanied by someone 18 or older. Drivers are supposed to decline the trip if they're unsure of the rider's age. Uber needs to have a zero tolerance policy for transporting unaccompanied minors. The families believe Uber and its drivers violated the South Carolina Human Trafficking Code. The statute at issue here really does make anyone culpable who participates in a trafficking venture and receives something of value um, in exchange for um, participating in that venture. Williams was sentenced to a minimum five years in prison for felony statutory rape and child sexual exploitation. His charges in South Carolina are pending. Uber says they take their role in helping to combat human trafficking seriously and have provided every driver with educational resources on how to identify the signs of human trafficking. In South Carolina, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.